What's up guys? Today we are going to be installing the Micro Swiss Flowtech hot end, which is going to be put on your K1 or your K1 Max. Let's get right into it. All right guys, the first step, you're just going to be removing your filament. And once that's done, let the printer cool down. The tools you're going to need to install the hot end are a 1.5 millimeter Allen wrench and a two millimeter Allen wrench and a seven millimeter socket. So the first step we're gonna be doing guys is unscrewing and removing the fan shroud. We have one bolt on either side and you're gonna be using your two millimeter wrench for this. Once that's done, lift off the bottom and pull the shroud off the nubs. For your safety, verify that the hot end is at room temperature before you're touching it. So the next thing you're gonna be doing is pulling off the silicone sock off the hot end. And the next step we're gonna be doing, we're gonna go, be going to the back of the hot end to remove the set screw. Once you've removed the set screw from the back, you're going to loosen the two screws holding in the hot end. Then you're gonna pull the hot end out. Be sure to unplug the thermistor and the heater. So here's what's in the new Micro Swiss hot end. So you're gonna insert the copper thermal adapter into the cooling block. Once that's done, be sure to tighten the set screw on the back of the cooling block while pressing the copper thermal adapter up. That set screw is the same one that we just took out from the back. While holding the heater core along with the titanium mounting screws on each side, push the screws into the cooling block. Tighten the screws until the shoulder bottoms out against the cooling block. Be sure to check the positioning on the screws before you install. The heater core wires should face the rear of the 3D printer. The heater core will still be free to wobble around even after tightening the two screws. Tighten the nozzle until it is snug and there's no need to heat the hot end before tightening the nozzle. Once that's done, attach both the heater and the thermistor connectors to the matching ports on the breakout board. Next, we're gonna install the new silicone sock. So align the cutout slot in the silicone sock with the cables located on the back of the heater core. Push the silicone sock up until it wraps around the top of the heater core. Next, we're gonna reattach the fan shroud. So connect the fan cable to the breakup board, align the top of the fan shroud with the studs on the top of the print head, and pivot the bottom of the fan shroud back until the shroud is seated properly. Next, we're gonna secure the fan shroud and the sensor. Reinstall the screws, holding the left and right side of the fan shroud. You're gonna be using your two millimeter Allen wrench for this. Once you finish that step, your Flowtech is ready to go. But we're not just gonna show you how to install it. We gotta show you some test prints. We'll be right back. Okay guys, and we're back and we have two test prints here. The difference is one of them we did before we installed the Flowtech and one of them we did after we installed the Flowtech. The only difference between these two prints is with the Flowtech, we were able to run it 150% faster. So with the speed increase, that's valuable for your time if you're printing things frequently. And obviously with the Flowtech, it's claim to fame is that you don't have to heat it up to change nozzles. So that about does it for us today. As you can see, this install only took us about 15 minutes. And even afterwards to do the test print, it was another 10 minutes or so and we're ready to go and just continue printing. So hopefully you found that useful and it makes your installation of the Flowtech Hot End by MicroSwiss that much easier for you. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe and we'll see you when we post more videos. Thanks.